Uh oh, we better hush up. <laughs> They'll be yelling at it. <laughs> Let's bring it in. Now we got to reassemble the crew. <laughs> Coffee break is over. All right, this is the business meeting part of uh, uh, our Saturday morning. Uh, thanks for everybody that's attending. Uh, my my name is Carl N7CJR, uh, president, and uh, I think we need a quorum call from the secretary at this time. Yes, from Paul. Paul. Okay. We have a quorum. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I think the next thing is approve of minutes. And I think that's uh, who is a, who is a, oh, okay. Thank you. All in favor of approving last month's minutes, raise your hand. Okay. Anybody opposed? How about online? Are we good? All good. Okay, at this time, we got the uh, Vice President, Paul, uh, for new members. All right, um, continuing in how we've been going this year, Today, we have possibly four potential new members available. I'll call your name if you're here or if you're on the video, let me know. And uh, we'd like to have you give us a few words about you, Ham Radio, and uh, what you look forward in the future. The first person is John Costanza. Come on up. Just tell a little bit about myself here. Hi, everyone. I'm John Costanza, KG7AUP. I live in Maple Valley. I got my uh, license in 2013. Uh, the My wife's uh, girlfriend's husband was in the ham radio, and through him, he kind of showed me the ropes and got me interested. And one day I decided, well, I'll just go ahead and take the test and I uh, passed the first two tests. So uh, that's when I got my license. And after that, I immediately joined the uh, Maple Valley Amateur Radio Club in 2013 and became the newsletter editor and have been there for 10 years. Um, I decided to join Mike and Key. That, the, the Maple Valley Club's kind of never really recovered from uh, COVID. Um, we're having a membership, uh, active membership participation issue. I think we have like 50 members, but there's only like half a dozen showing up to meetings. So thought it was time to reach out to another club and get involved. Um, so that's why I'm here today. And uh, I enjoy uh, antenna design. Uh, that's kind of the main, my main focus in uh, amateur radio is antenna design. I don't, I do operate not Tremendously, I'm just more interested in the, the engineering behind it, um, as I was an engineer at Boeing and retired a few years back. Um, other than that, I just like being involved in the club, and that's uh, why I'm here today. Good. Any questions? Looks like you got away free. All right. Thank you very much. Next, we have Marty Duke. Okay. Okay. Next, we have Abdul Valapepil. 
Okay, you, you've got the microphone right there. Take it easy. Is it good? Okay. You got it. <laughs> so uh, my name is Abdul, and uh, I've been living here uh, in the uh, Puget Sound area for the last uh, 10 years. Uh, I work for Microsoft. Uh, uh, I I'm right now living in uh, Renton, uh, Washington with my wife and two daughters. And um, uh, I'm from India, so uh, my dad used to be, he's no more, uh, used to be an electronic mechanic and uh, a watch uh, maker. And uh, uh, he used to repair and work on a lot of uh, radios and stuff. So uh, in my, since my high school days, I've been see, seeing these radios and uh, working on those uh, stuff, helping him and uh, uh, myself and with my brothers and my dad used to uh, build antennas for the uh, uh, TV reception those times, uh, Yagi antennas and all. And uh, uh, so I got my uh, uh, the uh, US uh, ham license this July and uh, I've been checking in some of the, um, uh, uh, the nets uh, a couple of reports and this couple of in and out, uh, in and out, and uh, I I like the uh, ham radio for its simplicity because uh, it's you and the as a transmission and the other end is the uh, the reception. There is nothing else. I mean, it's just two uh, uh, equipment talking each other. No other uh, uh, things to fail. So uh, I like that aspect of it, and it's a. Uh, it's um, it's an interesting uh, thing, and uh, uh, I wanted to be a part of this uh, uh, club. I mean, uh, I would like to be uh, because I can meet people and just to share some ideas or something. So yeah, that's pretty much from my side. Okay, any questions? Abdul, uh, my hearing is. Did you say you had a ham license before you came to the United States or you got it here? I I have a, a Canadian license too. So uh, VA7 PDI is my Canadian call sign. And I got uh, the US, uh, uh, this one, this July. Okay. Yeah, this July. Good. Yes, question in the back. What class Canadian license do you have? I have a basic with the harness. I think it's equivalent to general, or uh, it has some uh, HF privileges. The Canadians got a basic and they got an advanced, which is like an extra, then they got a basic plus, yeah. which is the electric general. All right. And last we have Jeff Zercher. Come on up. Zurcher, Z-U-R-C-H-E-R. Well, it looks like we only have two to check on today. Um, I'd like to ask the two potential. Step outside for a moment. Close the doors, roll the windshield wipers down. <laughs> okay, any comments from anybody about the two prospective members? Anybody know anything? Want us to know anything? Uh, I uh, know John uh, Costanza from Maple Valley. He's a really good master teller and uh, guy in our club. Yeah, uh, my name is Scott Gilead. I'm uh, the treasurer, and I also a member of the Mike and, or Maple Valley Amateur Radio Club. And uh, he's a really good, active member of our club. Uh, he's also our editor of our newsletter, and um, I'd really recommend him as far as membership in our club here at May Mike and Key. Sounds like he would be a good addition. Anyone else? 
Anybody on the video? Okay. Call for the vote of approval. Oh, which one? Oh, I was going to do both of them. <laughs> okay, let's let's do John Costanza first. Call for the vote. All those in favor? That's good. There we are. Here we go. Okay, the vote in favor of John Costanza, it carries. Very good. The vote, I call for the vote now for Abdul Valapilli. All those in favor? Yeah. Great, passed also. We have two new members additionally to the club. Bring them back in, please. They sounded like they were having too much fun out there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Uh, I think we got the. Uh, um, I think we got the uh, treasurer, Scott. Hi, uh, our current membership uh, before this meeting was uh, 301, uh, adding two new members. Thank you. And for those current members and new members, you are pay your dues either in person by cash, check, or uh, online by Square, pay, uh, PayPal, or Z uh, Zelle. And I uh, also che uh, accept checks by uh, mail. All this information is available on our website. And uh, please pay your dues on time. Otherwise, we may uh, remove you from our membership. So uh, those new members, please come and see me at the ba back if you can. Uh, otherwise, you can uh, pay by check and through the mail or online. Thanks. <clears throat> Uh, thanks, Scott. Uh, any other officer reports at this time? All right. Okay. Uh, anybody from this, any standing committees would like to report at this time? Uh, nobody came forward during, during the month uh, to actually want to speak. Uh, so I'm just given a general call to anybody from the committees that want to uh, address the membership. So keep this going quickly. Um, if nothing else, uh, there is uh, a point that we need to bring up and that is the, the webmaster and the website. Uh, we've had uh, Dan, um, I can't remember his call sign, DAB, yeah. He's been keeping the website going since uh, Dave Smith's passing. Uh, me, Scott, and Paul have been uh, trying to uh, learn, so to speak, which is, uh, I don't know if I've learned much. I've probably forgotten more uh, of what 
Dan has tried to teach us <laughs> that I knew from the start. So uh, my call is to, to those that have experience with website design and uh, uh, we have a, uh, it's, it's a very complicated system because basically what you have is me a membership uh, is tracking membership. You go on the website, you can actually uh, apply for membership. And so that process is more than a little complicated, uh, especially for somebody that doesn't know website design. And uh, there's a lot of stuff on the backside of the, of the website that's going on. And I know a lot of the new members, you know, I, I put in the relay, my, my, uh, my letter to the membership is that uh, we're gonna be searching for some replacements for the website uh, team. And we need a lot of help and uh, to d keep that going because uh, actually I heard a comment today that the website is uh, pretty uh, impressive. So we wanna keep that going. And uh, we're looking for people that that know website design. So I'm just putting it out there and uh, hoping we get some, get some help because right now it's Scott, who's a treasurer, Paul, vice president. And I've, uh, we've done some Zoom meetings, um, but I really haven't done anything. So I don't, I don't really want to mess up the website basically. <laughs> so, um, Carl, I have a question for you. Who is that? <laughs> Robert, TBO. Yeah. Hey, my question um, about as far as the website goes, um, what is on the back end of it? Is it uh, Java or is it HTML? Well, it's it, it's totally an HTML, but um, there's also Google Docs that uh, are in play as you uh, apply. Uh, we're not really sure how that works either. It's still running, obviously, because we get new membership applications from online. So that's still working. Uh, so we can get an active. Uh, OK, Scott, go ahead. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> yeah, we have. Uh, woo. Yeah, majority of it is HTML, but we also employ uh, code uh, using PHP. Uh, we use a JOT form for the uh, application. We also use a, uh, a MySQL database uh, using our, our, we go through uh, iPower as our uh, uh, website host. They provide the MySQL. And so all these things are, uh, there's a complicated web of uh, different applications going on that make the uh, website work. So um, help is really needed to decipher how this was all done because of uh, Dave Smith was, has been for years, the primary and only uh, website uh, ma a webmaster, even though Dan originally created it, it was uh, pretty much all maintained and updated by Dave. With Dave's passing, we're in a lurch uh, trying to figure out how to keep it up to date and uh, go forward. So any help would be really appreciated. Yes. Um, K7 TFI. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is Sam here. I I did web development uh, as my profession for about ten years, so I'd I'd be happy to help. Uh, who do I reach out to? Either myself or uh, Carl. Okay, I will. 
Thanks. Yeah, Sam, we'll uh, we'll email you or give you a call. Um, and uh, we've had a, about three or four Zoom meetings, and uh, Dan has tried to. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead, laugh, Paul. <laughs> well, he's, he's worked very diligently. Oh yeah, he's the people that he's going. Well, what yeah. you say? I think Scott's Scott's probably the the most. Uh, he's he's actually had been updating some items on the uh, website. So, um, me and Paul have probably I I haven't done anything. I don't know about Paul, but um, and David Yarbrough, he used to be on the on the committee. So, uh, but he's. He's uh, done his duty already, so he has to pass the baton. So, but yeah. Jim Mettler was also on the committee too, but he's passed. And we've got two of those four original guys who yeah. passed. So, yeah, Sam, we'll be, if you don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> that's, a pro that's a promise. But we appreciate you uh, volunteering. I mean, I mean that sincerely. So, um, I know Mike uh, Dinkelman, the uh, newsletter uh, editor, is not here. He's uh, doing the salmon run. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to move the meeting to the second or the fourth uh, Saturday. And I didn't get any feedback on the on Facebook, so <laughs> I don't know uh, if that's a possibility. But we'll uh, I'll bring it up at the next meeting. So. Uh, any essential committees, audits, awards, finance, or strat strategic planning? Anybody? All right. Uh, anybody want to talk about the uh, event committees like the swap meet, field day, or the picnic? We we had a great picnic. How? You want to say anything? Uh, you want a microphone? I got a couple of things. Just uh, uh, one regarding the repeater. Uh, we did we did make a trip to uh, Tiger Mountain on uh, last Sunday. I think it was, and uh, Bears uh, removed the Evergreen inner tie equipment from uh, the our site up there. It hasn't been operational for a while, but. Uh, they removed re removed all that equipment from the site, which is pretty good because uh, that frees up a little bit of room in, in the facility. And it also gives us a, a rack that we can use up at Gold Mountain because at Gold Mountain, the uh, rack for our repeater, a possible repeater at Gold Mountain is a small old, old commercial rack and uh, uh, a cabinet actually. And that's too small for some of the bigger equipment we have nowadays. So I uh, could give us some sight up there. Plus it re reduces the number of uh, transmitters that we have on Tiger Mountain, which is good for the uh, DNR because they're questioning how many good transmitters you guys got up there. So, <laughs> so anyway, we, we've, we've got, uh, we're sort of grandfathered in for eight years, eight more years on our, on our lease agreement. Uh, the picnic was really, really good. I really appreciate everybody uh, turning out, and I uh, uh, hope everybody had a great time. It looked like everybody did. Uh, we uh, went through a lot of food and uh, filled our bellies, so appreciate everybody coming. And uh, swap meet, yes, we started uh, getting ready for the 2024 swap meet in March, um, and you'll start hearing me... Uh, and Mike start pushing for help, help, help. Because <laughs> uh, if, if you haven't been to our swap meets in the past, uh, it's a great place to come and and uh, help out. Because one, if you are a member and you help out, or even if you're not a member and help out and are on our volunteer list for supporting, you do get in for free and you get in early and you get to see a lot of good stuff. So what was the comment? What's the exact date? Um, Good question. <laughs> it's always the, uh, uh, well, it's, I can't say that. It's not always the, the uh, 
particular Saturday. We are always the tenth weekend of the year, so I'll have to figure that out. But it's either the first or second weekend of March of next year. It'll be on Saturday. Uh, we start setting up uh, and preparing for uh, it usually about Wednesday, Thursday, we do some work, and then Friday is when we start bringing the vendors in and stuff like that. But, but sorry, yeah, 9th of March. So, uh, but the, we start preparing, the committee starts preparing for it in October. We start in October, and we start getting things lined up. Mike has already got the uh, authorization from ARRL that we are a, a, a uh, qualified uh, Swap meet that they support, uh, as always. They do give us our labels for our mailing. Uh, and so he's getting ready to print the flyer. He'll be going out shortly. So we are already starting. We're going to have our first meeting here coming up in, uh, in October. So uh, that's about all I got. We're moving on. Thanks, Al. Thank you, Hal. Okay, so that's with all the committees. Do we have any uh, old business that we need to uh, talk about? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Robert, KJ7CBO. Um, I don't know if he's online. I am online. Would you like to speak to the, uh, the I-5 rest stop uh, event? Yeah, I would. Um, I'll take just a couple of minutes um, uh, of everybody's time on today's meeting. Um, good news is um, the uh, I-5 Rust Area Coffee event um, is scheduled for the 14th of October. Uh, so uh, I think that is a Saturday. Uh, anyway, um, the 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 time that they want us to, to at least uh, start showing up is 9 a.m., um, and it will last until we uh, just decide to wrap it up and, and uh, uh, tear it down and go home. Um, so having said that, I did find, um, I don't know if Manfred is in um, in the uh, facility down there in Kent, but um, anyway, um, I did look at and find the, the agreement uh, with the DOT for this. Um, and one thing that, that I don't know if, um, if Mike and he has, uh, but is a sign or a banner that says coffee served by and then uh, Mike and Key. If not, a poster board would be uh, would be good with that on it. If somebody is a little artistic, um, and it does have the the maximum of, of the sign eighteen inch by twenty four, um, and they say no other advertisements um, uh, would be allowed. So we got to keep that in mind. Um, the other thing on here, um, as I was looking at it, the very bottom of it, uh, what is this, page five, um, it says volunteer, uh, um, if I can even speak, participants um, is five as what they have it down. So um, I, as far as how many people that would be necessary to run it, um, I think that a minimum of five would be great, um, but the more the merrier, of course, and set up radios and just have a have a good time with that. So, um, again, that's the 14th upcoming, and that's all I've got for you. All right. Thanks, Robert. Um, if anybody is interested in uh, helping out with that event, um, either setting up a radio or helping serve coffee or refreshments, um, please contact either me or Robert. And if you have any questions, uh, on the website, there is an info at mikeandkey.com email address. Uh, go ahead and send it to that. I don't know if, if Mike, I mean, excuse me, if Robert has a, uh, email address, uh, up there, but, uh, uh, please reach out to us. We want to we want to make uh, a good impression, and uh, I think it's a good idea, a good way of uh, getting the uh, ham radio and the Mike and Key Club name out there. So, yes. 
it's going to be the northbound uh, I-5 in Federal Way. So there'll be a... That's uh, just south of the water park, um, uh, Carl. Yeah. There'll be a uh, Department of Transportation person there uh, just to make sure we don't misbehave. I can't imagine us ham radio guys and gals. Yeah. So, but you never know. You never know. So, uh, that's all I had for old business. Uh, does anybody have any more old business that I haven't spoken about or they haven't brought up? Okay. Any new business that we need to talk about? Okay. Not all at once. Um, all right, I think that's, oh, good of the order, good of the order, I'm sorry. So our secretary, Jean, was handing out this uh, High Desert Ham Fest. Uh, we've had it, let's see, can I, there we go. I don't know if you guys can read backwards, but it's down in Redmond, Oregon on the, uh, let's see, what's the date, September 30th. 8.30 to 3 p.m. So anybody is going to be down in Oregon, uh, please, if you want to, go ahead and attend. Uh, anything else for the good of the order? All right. I think that's it. Uh, anybody want to make a motion to adjourn? Move we adjourn. Gil, do we have a second? Paul. Paul was first. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's uh, stop that. We gotta <laughs> we gotta recognize visitors here. I'm sorry. We have Chris back there in the back row. He's from uh, Montana. Uh, I think Chris and Cynthia is it? Yeah, she's, she's out there somewhere. Yeah, He's in Mont He's from Montana visiting. Uh, he'll be here a couple months. So appreciate you coming out and uh, visiting. Any other visitors here? Do you, you want to come up and? Uh... I can take that. I, I'm at John 87 GAD. I just live in South Carolina. I've been meaning to get to this meeting. OK. Uh, go ahead, sir. Yeah, I'm Scott, and I'm uh... All right. Well, thanks for visiting. Um, membership is online. You can go online to the website and and uh, apply it to membership, and uh, we'll get it. And the board reviews it, and then we bring it to the general membership. And you saw how new members are voted in. So. Uh, so we, since we already have a second on uh, adjourning the meet, oh, sorry, one more. My wife was here too, but she had a limit. So she's not stretching her leg. She's an 87 HIU. She can't lift her leg. Okay, great. So here, so All right. Uh, anything else before we vote to adjourn? Okay. Um, all those in favor of adjourning? Uh, any opposed? All right. Thanks for attending and uh, hope to see everybody next month. We'll be here next month. We will be here next month. Yes. We're here for till December at least. Not a, now I have to go watch your <laughs> hey, again, oh, he's going to take it away? I think we're remodeling. Huh? So, now. Changing it, amplifying something. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you.
See you, Dave. See you, John. See you, Dean. See you, guys. See you later, Mark. <laughs> yep. Good Have a you, great Mark. day, everyone. Good to see you again, Mark. See you, everyone. Hey, th thanks Bye, for hey, Sam. Cheering, Take care. Sam. Wow, I feel like this is the Waltons. Good night, John boy. <laughs> Uh, that did you, Robert. <laughs> oh, wait a second. We, we do have John and Alice. <laughs> hey, Robert, did you see my chat? Just a quick question. How do you find out if you're where you are with your dues? Um, uh, John, somebody, it was posted in the chat earlier. There was a link for it. I saw it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I did see it. There wasn't an email. And when I clicked on it, it took it to a Apple email thing that I don't use. So I don't know what the person's email. I can find it on the website. Well, if you want to, uh, John, because they're so, sort of right now, uh, Mike and Keith does not have a webmaster. Um, right. So you can, I would suggest contacting Carl um, and he can look it up and tell you. Okay. Yeah, I just have Either Carl or, or Scott, maybe. Yeah, I feel like it's been a long time that I'm not sure. Might have paid, might have paid off in advance. Yeah, I know that some folks have paid like for a year or two or three years in advance. Um, uh, so they were trying to get, get that figured out and, and so it doesn't keep uh, bumping people off the roster uh, when their when their dues are, are due. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here and play on. Okay, I'm gonna head back to Good seeing you, Dean. See you later, John. Yes, Steve. I'll be on 15 meters, John. All right, All right take care, Mark. Yeah, Mark. Right. I hear you on that mag loop. You're, you're on 15 meters, Dean? Yeah. 21, uh, 29. <laughs> I'll see if I can hear you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if I don't deal with those right. So this is something I mean, I'll be here for October. This is to get that extra length out. But we'll be using that next time. So Hey, Dick, does it have a call sign? It does. Uh, it actually has two call signs. Okay, how, how do I find it? Okay, I'll hang out. Yeah, I can go that. 
There's a thing on QRZ about it. I'll have to look up the call signs. Uh, oh, if it's on QRZ, I'll find it. Okay. Um, you can rent it. Um, it's it's on the border between Sweden and Norway, and so it has it has two call signs, and um, it has it has living space, and I assume cooking space because you can you can rent it for up to five people you have to bring your own food and your own uh, bedding but it's got a uh i think it's 756 pro three or two anyway and it's got a 706 smart 2g and um multiple antennas um up through um up to uh, 432 from, uh, uh, I think, 80 through 432. And wow. uh, the tower in the background is there. It's got a, a long periodic for, uh, I think, 20 through 10. 